All right, so this is gonna be a quick one. Akame is down for her nap and I wanna get this workout done, or at least 90% done before she wakes up. So hopefully she takes a long one, but yeah, we're just gonna start warming up and getting after it. But today's workout, we got shoulders and arms one of my favorite workouts. I think moving forward, at least for the time being, or at least the next couple of mesos, I'm gonna keep this same like training cycle that I have. I really like having a shoulders and arms day. However, I like how the first week has a little bit more emphasis on chest and back. And I think it's a really good way to split everything up, keep everything fun, and there's nothing like a good arm pump, you know, and who doesn't want big arms? So body still feeling really good. However, for the first exercise, I have dumbbell anterior delt press planned, but just haven't really been feeling 80 press lately. I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe because before it was kind of irritating my shoulder. But yeah, haven't been feeling it. However, on another workout, I ended up doing it on the cables before I even had this bench out here. So this is where my first original bench is going, which I'm super happy about to be honest, because then I can do incline cable flies, I can do seated AD press, I got some other stuff like single arm pull downs, using the bench supported single arm pull downs that I have planned for the next mezzo, one of my favorites. That's actually something that I used to do all the time in New York, but I kind of just got lazy to set up the bench and wheel the bench, you know, to the cables but I think it's worth it. So you guys will see, you guys will see. But yeah, body's feeling over 9,000. Where, are we halfway through the mezzo? Nope, not even halfway through the mezzo. These next, after this week, that's when it really starts ramping up because now we have numbers to annihilate in the coming mesos moving forward. And then onto the ascension phase where we kick things off into the next deload and the next meso. But yeah, pretty much all warmed up. Just gonna do some push ups, warm up my elbow, warm up that tricep tendinitis. Finish off my pre-workout, which is hitting hard. This high stim pre-workout from Boba Tea. It's the shit. It's the shit. Like any of you guys try this, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Like it is so good. Honestly, not a huge soju fan, but the way it hits and even the dosage, the dosaging, <laughs> the dosages and the ingredients and how much they put of it. I didn't think it was gonna make a, that big of a difference, but it makes a huge difference. Yeah, and my excitement level was like right here for this workout. Now it's like up here, like we're gonna get after it. Okay, so final set of cable AD press. These actually feel really damn good. A lot easier on your joints and your elbows than regular AD press.
That felt really good. Also, I like how on the cables, it's a lot easier to grind reps out. Like if that was dumbbells, probably would have been done after set a rep 10 maybe, nine maybe. But I was able to grind out that 11th rep. I probably could have grinded out a 12th rep. Not exactly sure. I feel like I misgrooved a little bit, but it's all good. Cause I'm gonna smash it the next workout. Cable crossbody tricep extensions. This is an exercise that I like to keep higher reps because sometimes it can irritate my tricep tendon nice. It's mainly on the setup. So once I get like the setup in place, then my elbows feel perfectly fine, which is really weird. But yeah, I think it's just the angle of I don't know, like the first rep and setting it up. So I kind of have to extend first and then kind of go into place as you'll see. But yep, gonna take this set to failure and just get as many as we can. So yeah, I kind of have to push it out like that. Okay. So, not exactly sure, but I think I cheated a little bit on the 13th rep. I think I kind of tilted forward and used some body weight, but triceps are pumped. Hitting some lying cable curls. This is a new favorite of mine, just started doing these. I did these a few times at the gym and just really liked it. So brought it into this mezzo. And uh, let's get it, last set. Let's go a little bit higher on the bench actually. So for those of you setting it up on a cable stack like this, I had it actually one notch higher, but you want the cable literally to line up with the bend of your elbows. Uh. 
sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of blood in my biceps right now, none in my head. But yeah, just make sure that the cable's lining up with the bend of your elbows. Oh, so you're getting that constant tension. And that's pretty much it. I totally forgot. I had something else to say, but I totally forgot. I'm getting a crazy bicep pump. Oh, and the tempo in the beginning was crap. And that's why it's good to record your sets, really. Like even on my last workout that I recorded my Bulgarian split squats, like my tempo was pretty horrible. At least in the beginning, I think it got better as I went. But even for this one, like the tempo wasn't as smooth as it should have been in the beginning. And I think it was also acclimating to the height because I actually had it higher and I dropped it on this last set because I didn't realize that the setting was wrong. And that's my bad. But still got an amazing set. Biceps are pumped AF. I think UPS man just woke up a Kame, which is a bummer, but it's all good. Keep going. Tricep cable kickbacks using the ankle cuff just because it just feels great. Like for tricep exercises, and I haven't really experimented it with it on others, but it's just perfect for it. So I'm uh, gonna just keep a stable base. And I mean, it's pretty simple and just go straight to failure. So yeah, there's not that much cheating you can do on this just because your body's going to start moving. As you saw, my elbow starts coming up. So really trying to keep it as strict as possible while still going to failure. But ugh, felt really good. This whole workout is pretty much really low weight bearing on your joints, which is what I like about it. You can, we're hitting your arms taking a lot of pressure off your joints, letting it kind of recover a little bit. Because next, well, the next upper workout is back at it again. So gonna rest a minute. Actually, I think I can just go right into my left arm already. Yeah, Akami's rooting for me from back there. <laughs> Yeah, so because I'm left-handed, probably could have squeaked out another one or two more reps on my left, but we're just matching and that's exactly why we start with the weaker arm. Here, finishing this off, hammer curls. Not gonna go crazy heavy, 
I'm gonna get some forearm work in there as well, but just keeping it controlled, keeping it clean. So, 15 good wins, then partials to pretty much absolute failure till my grips are giving out, forearms feel pumped. Gonna add more direct forearm work in future mesos, but hammer curls definitely hits a ton of it or gets a lot of the job done. Also just gripping heavy things, like any dumbbell pressing, that kind of thing. Which is pretty much where majority of my forearms grew from, which is heavy pressing and hammer curls, really. But arms looking good, I think, from this lighting. It's looking pretty damn good. Ugh. Slowly but surely, every day, just stacking those bricks, stacking them up, building my physique, or chiseling away at the physique, your masterpiece. Don't die without unveiling that masterpiece, seeing what your limits are, and just pushing that and taking that as far as you can. And if you can learn to love that journey, learn to love that, that's when... You know, this will be something you do for life. As I think everyone should be thinking of this, not a short-term thing, but a longevity thing. And I'm gonna shower, I gotta feed Akame. She's getting hungry. And I'll see you guys in the next one.